You've got commitment issues, and I'm here to solve that for you. It's only born here, and uh, I'm here to try Janae's coffee. It's a... Uh... Oh. It's unbelievable, seriously. Seriously though, that's that's definitely a scrum. That, that's a proper ding dang do. Yo guys, what is up? My name is Taha Bhatt, and I'm a third year medical student, and today in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to smash your OSCEs. When I did my OSCEs in first year, Alhamdulillah, I did well, I got over 90%. I feel though it's much more achievable to get a really high grade in OSCEs compared to the written exams and the uh, the MCQs. Th those are just enemy helicopter inbound. Enemy UAV is airborne. So yeah, these are some tips on how to smash your OSCE and get over ninety percent. Read the instructions carefully. Now, don't don't you dare, don't you dare skip this part of the video. Like how you're gonna skip reading the instructions properly in the OSCE. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking, you know, I know how to read, but but th th that's where you're wrong. It's so easy to read the vignette wrong in your OSCE due to high levels of adrenaline and you just being so nervous. You've normally got one minute to read that vignette before you go into the station, so it's certain whether you're going to do an examination, history or procedure, and what type as well. Most of the times it's pretty obvious, like, you know, if it's tummy pain, it's going to be likely to be, you know, a GI history examination. If it's palpitations, you know that's going to be cardiovascular. However, sometimes you need to be clever. If it's something like shortness of breath, that could be due to heart failure, so cardiovascular, or asthma, which is respiratory. If it's chest pain, that could be due to ischemic heart disease, so cardiovascular, or it could be due to pneumonia, respiratory. And so the way you're going to differentiate between the two is in your OSCE station. You're going to ask specific questions such as, can you describe the pain? Is it a dull, crushing pain, which is typically caused by ischemic heart disease? Or is it a sharp pain, which can be due to respiratory conditions? So yeah, remember that sometimes you do need to be clever. I think I remember in my OSCE station, I wasn't sure whether it was going to be a respiratory history or a cardiovascular history. And so I had to ask those specific questions and that helped me to deduce what specific type of history I was taking. Your introduction. Keep your intro short, stupid. <laughs> Yo, too many people have this long intro. Like, hi, my name is Taha Bet. I'm here to do a respiratory examination on you. Two hours later. Um, All in have this done me before. Look your I'm hands. gonna also move on I'm to the have back a feel and of them. That's where I'm gonna, gonna do the same thing pause. as well. And I'm like also gonna, then gonna And then the examiner's sitting there like, shut up, fam. No wonder people run out of time. Keep your introduction short. For example, if it was a respiratory examination, all you'd have to say is, hi, my name is Taha Bhatt. I'm a third year medical student. Can I just confirm your full name and date of birth, please? Okay, Tom, so I've just been asked to do a respiratory examination on you. All that includes is me taking a look, listen, and feel of your chest and back. And due to the nature of the examination, I'm gonna have to ask you to take your top off later if you're comfortable. And we've got a chaperone here to make sure that we're both safe. Is that all okay? That's it. I mean, that, that does seem long still, but Trust me, it's so much shorter than a lot of other people. I made sure to introduce myself, confirm the patient's identity, explained what I want to do, and also warn them that they're going to have to take their top off as well. I've ensured that there's going to be a chaperone there, and I've asked them if that is all okay. I've, I've gained their consent. If it wasn't a respiratory examination, which is very notorious for students running out of time on, I would have spoken a bit slower. I would have also like asked... You know, if they said Jennifer, I'd have asked them, oh, am I okay to call you Jennifer? Just to build that rapport as well. And it's, it's quite nice to do in the OSCE. But because the respiratory examination is so long, you want to fit all of that stuff in six minutes. So as long as you talk at a pace that is clear and at a pace that the examiner and the patient can both follow, then you're fine. Confidence. Look, you, you, you're going to have to ask the person to take their top off, yeah? You're going to have to ask the female actor to lift up their breast, to move their bra so you can listen to their chest. Be confident. This is not awkward. No, no, th th this is not awkward. Just, just let's get that out of our heads because this isn't awkward. This is a necessary step in order for us to do our examination. And that is essential when providing care to patients. So you need to be confident when asking these uncomfortable questions. So just ask it confidently. Just say, you know, for this part of the examination, are you okay to take your top off? That's it. You need to be confident when asking these questions because that's part of what you're going to be marked on in the OSCE exam. Showing confidence is important in the future as a doctor because you need to be able to be confident enough to instill trust in patients. So how do you get confident enough to ask total strangers to strip in front of you? Just practice. No, not, not with, not with total strangers on the street, yeah, with, with your friends, I, 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 The best way to practice for your OSCEs is by doing the histories and examinations 
on real people. Geeky Medic videos are great, okay? They're great for consolidating your learning and also by learning the examination. But the best way to practice it is just practicing on people. Just do it. Practice on people. The best way to practice is going through the actions and training your muscle memory so that when it comes to the examination or history, that they're just gonna flow so much more nicely because you've done so much practice on real people. Just little things as well, like where you place a stethoscope on the chest or how you percuss. Like I'm pretty sure for a respiratory examination, if you're trying to listen to the lungs there, you don't just go straight down like that. You're meant to like go like that. Those are the things you're gonna be able to practice and learn when doing it on real life human people. Another reason why you should do it on a person and with other people is because then that's an opportunity for you to receive feedback. Often people think they know everything and they sort of undermine sort of OSCEs, but actually, you know, it's a great opportunity for other people to then fill in gaps of knowledge that you didn't even know you had. A lot of my learning for OSCEs has came from just other people just correcting my technique or giving me better ways and methods to do my histories and examinations. So the best thing to say is like for preclinical years, your OSCEs is more to do with just memorizing the actions. You're not actually gonna be tested on why you're looking at particular signs or symptoms. And therefore it's a lot easier compared to your later years when you're actually gonna be asked and tested on, on certain symptoms or signs that you're looking for. So yeah, hopefully that puts your nerves at ease. So yeah, that's about it. If you're a first year medical student, go check out my video on most important things to have for medical school. It has a wholesome ending, if I say so myself. Please like the video if you found it useful and continue to show your support. You guys, you guys are amazing. Like we have over 800 subscribers. That is, that is out of this world. It's always so nice reading the support and love in the comments as well. So please continue doing that. Thank you guys so much. And as a token of my appreciation, I'm gonna leave you with this. Do it, have the confidence. Some pow, some hey, hey, me na morojo. Hey, 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 what do I do? Hey, some